now let me move on to part 4 that is arrangement asked in prelim set practice number 1 i think totally we have asked three arrangement so one arrangement that is based on a uh, monday to sunday right uh, days arrangement and the second arrangement that we asked is based on a subject so this person likes max and this person likes physics right so subject arrangement and the third arrangement will be a circular arrangement but all the persons are facing outside so finally i can say one arrangement which is a medium level and the two arrangement which is somewhat easy right okay so let me start this video with the first arrangement number one that is based on uh, monday to friday let me move on to this arrangement question so totally pqrs tv seven employees in a call center and they are working in a three different shift 6 am to 2 pm 3 pm to 10 pm 10, 11 pm to 5 am so friends instead of writing their shift timings let me consider this as morning shift noon shift and the night shift that will be easy why because uh, instead of writing 3 pm 4 pm like that there, there are more possible of making a mistake in am and pm so better take the three shift as morning shift which is 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. afternoon shift as 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. and the night shift as 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. right that will be simple so totally there are three shift and uh, at least two one and not more than three among any of these three shift okay and each of them get off on one day every week from Monday to Sunday so we need to find which person is working on which shift that is the timing of the shift and also we need to find uh, which day the person offers week office okay friends let me move on to point number one Q with, works with only T in 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. So 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. will be noon shift, afternoon shift. And listen carefully where Q works with only T. So we can definitely say that Q and T will be on one shift. And they have clearly told that Q and T works on 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. It will be noon shift, right? So we can say that Q works on noon shift. And similarly, T works on noon shift. Only two person working on the shift and is weekly off so and represents the person q and the person q week off is immediately to the next day of day of p so p next day week off should be q right so that's what we are they are saying so let me do one thing take it as a note that so p next day should be q right okay next point yes as week off on sunday so yes week off on sunday it's a direct statement so we can take this as yes week off is on sunday okay and E is not in the same shift either with R or Q so S is not working with the shift which is R nor Q and already we know that Q is a noon shift so we can surely say that S and R is not working on the sh same shift right okay P is in 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. will be the morning shift and they have clearly told that P is working in a morning shift so we can say that P is a morning shift okay and uh, with r right so p is working with r so we can say that r is also a morning shift okay listen the point carefully which is most important here p is in 6 am to 2 pm so we can definitely say that p works in a morning shift from the first line and the second line they are saying that with r so we can surely say that r is also working in a morning shift where who represents the person r so r of day is immediately after q so immediately after q is the person r week off and immediately before t so immediately before t the person r week off is so friends can able to understand this concept right where who's the word who's of day represents the person r and the person r week off is immediately after q and the person r week off is immediately before t so finally we can say that if p is monday assume that right p is monday then q should be tuesday and r should be wednesday and t should be thursday so this order it should be there but uh, we don't know where to fix it okay not an issue so let me move on to the next point right okay so next point is V's off day is immediately after t it's like everything is a direct statement but you need to think a lot right listen carefully V's off day is immediately after t so immediately after t the person v off day is okay i think only one possible p should be monday friends no other way why because listen carefully monday tuesday uh wednesday and uh, this should be thursday and this should be friday only saturday is remaining i think that should be saturday right okay not an issue so let me move on to the next point uh v's off day is on immediately after t but not on sunday so we can surely say that v is not on sunday right so v is off day is not sunday and we already know that uh, sunday is s right okay 
and V's off day is not on Sunday and uh, T but not on Sunday. So friends they have clearly told that V off day is immediately after T but not on Sunday right. We already know that Sunday is yes. Okay next point is the employee having off day on Friday works in shift either 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. Where 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. will be the night shift. Listen carefully the employee having off on Friday. So the person who is getting off on Friday is shift should be definitely a night shift right okay so this is the point they are saying and we already placed a two noon and we know that q and t should be noon right and the remaining person friends i, I think we got a clue uh, why because listen carefully uh, p and t sorry q and t is working in noon and they have clearly told that q and t is only so definitely we can say that q and t are the only person who is working in the afternoon shift and we already know that s is not working with r so we and we found that r is a morning shift so only one possible that s should be definitely a night shift right okay so we don't know what about v and z and they are saying that uh, friday is uh, night shift right so definitely uh, these two persons should be anyone and that should be night shift okay so let me move to the next point friends the employee uh, having an off day on friday works on the shift 11 am 11 pm to 5 am and that on saturday does not work with t so the person who works on saturday is not working with t so i think uh, so let me take it as a clue that saturday he is not working with T. Okay, friends. Z does not work in either 3 p.m. or friends. Listen carefully. We got a last point. Look at the clue carefully. Z does not work in either 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. So we can say that the person Z is not working in a noon shift, right? And also the person Z is not working in a night shift. So only one possible that the person Z should work only in one shift, which should be morning. So it says morning. And remaining only one shift, we already know that uh, Saturday is not working with T and we already placed three morning and the clearly they have told that not more than three in any shift, right? So we have placed two noon here and also we have placed uh, three morning here. So only one shift that should be a night shift, right? So definitely we can say that we should be a night shift. Okay. So finally, we have placed uh, two night and only noon two person noon and three person who is working in a morning shift okay and uh, they have clearly told that the person who is uh, getting an off on uh, friday he is working on a night shift so it should be friday so two night so definitely we can say that this should be friday right okay if v is friday then definitely d t should be thursday it's a it's a data right they have directly given this clue so it should be thursday and if t is thursday then r should be wednesday so this should be wednesday and q should be tuesday and uh, p should be monday and the last thing is friday we have already placed sunday here and this should be saturday so finally we have completed the interesting arrangement so friends only thing is uh, by seeing the arrangement you can't able to guess whether it is easy or tough so while solving the arrangement you need to write all the clues properly right so try to solve more number of questions based on uh, monday to friday then uh, based on uh, days based on uh, weeks arrangement because every time you are seeing these arrangements in the exam so try to solve more number of medium level question and also easy level questions now let me move on to arrangement number two so friends here arrangement number two that is based on uh, seven friends and uh, which standard they are studying and also which subject they are studying so these are the arrangements are more and more expected for all the clerk exams not only for the ibbs right it is expected for every blank clerk exams it is most important but the question looks so simple try to crack the question within two minutes or one minute 30 seconds that will be the best time where you can easily score five marks on the exam so practice more and more question that is based on these standard subjects week and month based questions so first point a likes max and studies fifth standard with only one other friend who likes chemistry so friends listen carefully the first four words is a direct statement a likes mathematics so we can say that the person a likes max and also they have told that the person a is studying fifth standard and also the person a is studying with only one friend and uh, who studies uh, definitely that person will also studies in fifth standard and the person whose friend of a will likes chemistry so let me take it as a clue that the person who studies with a he is uh, likes chemistry subject and this person will also study fifth standard second point i studies with two other friends both the friend who study with i likes the languages here language include hindi chemistry and english 
we already know chemistry is uh, studied by fifth standard so friends listen carefully i is studying with two other friends right so i is studying with two other friends and they have clearly told that the two friends who likes a subject which is uh, in the chemistry and english but we already placed the chemistry here which is fifth standard so we can definitely say that i friend that is the person who studies with i i will like only two subject that should be uh, in the or otherwise it should be english so only two possible so in the or english okay friends and we can surely say that i is studying with two other person and a is studying with only one person okay friends next point is d studies in sixth standard with only one person so it's a direct statement again they are saying that d studies in sixth standard with only one person right a studies with one person chemistry d studies with one person and they have clearly told that d is studying sixth standard and does not like civics so this person does not like civics okay e studies with only one friend so again e is studying with only one friend okay okay next point is the one who likes history does not study in fifth or sixth so fifth or sixth does not history right so let me take it as a clue that this person will definitely not history and also let me take it as a clue that the person who likes history is not studying fifth and also he is not studying sixth. so definitely we can say that history will be seventh standard so friends i think we got one clue listen carefully uh, we know that only one person who studies with a is fifth standard so definitely these two guys should uh, study in fifth standard and uh, the person d is studying with only one person who is sixth standard right and here they are saying that i is studying with two other person so definitely i will be seventh standard and uh, i is possible of history right okay so let me move on to the other points i think we have still only two points remaining e does not like languages so here the, the languages include in the chemistry and english so e does not like languages which is uh, in the and also english okay so e does not like in the english c does not like english in the civics so c does not like in the uh, english and the civics that's it so by using this clue we need to solve this question friends listen carefully we know that the person i is studying with two other friends and the friends are like hindi and english and we can definitely say that hindi does not e does not likes hindi and also c does not likes hindi so it is we can uh, definitely guess that b and g will study with i so we can say that g will be seventh standard b will be seventh standard but we don't know who is studying english and hindi so let me take it as a clue that this can be in the or english and similarly this can be in the or english possible right and uh, here they have told that sixth standard who does not like uh, civics and this c does not like civics only one possible e should be civics right okay and also they have told that person a studies with another person who likes chemistry uh, i think only one possible this must be chemistry friends right no other way so if this is chemistry and this should be fifth standard and also in the and uh, they have clearly told that the person who likes history is not fifth or sixth so only seventh standard is remaining that two i should be history okay and uh, remaining only one subject i think so which is like economics right so economics should be here so finally we have solved this interesting arrangement little bit tricky but if you write the clues properly solving a question is so simple right but we don't know what about hindi and english which is whether b is studying there is a possible right so b can study hindi or english and similarly g can study hindi or english and they have already told that d is studying with one person right so definitely this should be sixth standard so d studies with only e which is sixth standard and a studies with only c both the persons are fifth standard and i studies with two other friends which is a g and also b who likes hindi and english so and they have given that history does not like be fifth or sixth so definitely history will be seventh so not more than uh, three okay interesting arrangement friends so finally we have solved the arrangement number two that is asked in ibbs prelims practice set number one now let me move on to the third arrangement question that we asked i think uh, totally in this prelims set practice number one we have three arrangement question and the uh, five syllogism and the uh, five coded uh, inequality then uh, three blood relation sorry uh, three direction and one ranking and ordering and also one uh, 
coding decoding i think so right okay so let me move on to the last arrangement question and here totally there are eight uh, students so sitting around a circle but they are not facing inside but they are away from the center right and uh, they are saying that all the students are in a four different groups so group number one group number two group number three and group number four so two students in a each group and also they are in different sports houses rugby diamond emerald like that okay so we need to find which person is uh, which sports house and also we need to find which group he is right he or she is okay so let me move on to point number one no two student of the same group are sitting adjacent to each other except those of group three so friends except group three all the remaining students are not sitting adjacent right so let me assume that this is group number three and group number three because they have clearly told that except group three all the remaining persons are not sitting adjacent to each other so from this point we can surely say that only the person who is in group number three are sitting adjacent to each other right that is immediate neighbors so point number two students from group four are sitting opposite to each other so student from group four are sitting opposite to each other so friends i think if i place group four here then this should be group four one possible or otherwise if this is group four then this should be also group four why because they have clearly told the student from group four are sitting opposite to each other so we have only two possible either four should be placed here or otherwise four should be placed here and definitely these two places are not for four so it can be one or it can be two okay okay friends next point uh, next point is uh, is, yeah. D is neither in uh, zircon nor an emerald house so I think we can take this as a clue no other way right so they are saying that the person D is not in a two group sports group which is emerald house okay so this will be the clue number one the next is the student from uh, topaz house is sitting immediate to right of student from zircon house so we don't know where is zircon but the person zircon house immediately to us okay immediate right hand side right okay friends the next point is uh, point number two c o is in pearl house is in group number one friends listen it's a direct statement right the person c o is in a pearl house okay the person c is in a pearl house and they are clearly given he is from group number one she is sitting on the immediate right of f so she that determines c is a female person and also uh, f immediately right hand side the person c is sitting so f immediately right hand side the person c is sitting but we don't know how to place c here okay and uh, who is group three friends listen carefully they have given a clue right and uh, f who is in group three so from this point we can surely say that the person f is group three and f right hand side c is sitting if we assume that f is here then f right hand side this should be c that is not possible so only one possible that f should be placed here and the person c should be placed here and we already know that c is a pearl so c is a pearl and which is group one so we can say that this is group one and uh, while reading the first point itself we told that the group four has two possible either group four should be placed here or group four should be placed here now we know that here group one so definitely only one possible that this should be group four and similarly this should be group four and uh, except the person who is from group three all the remaining persons are not adjacent so friends listen carefully we have placed four here one here so definitely uh, we should not place two here only one possible that this should be two and this should be two and this should be one so only if we place a person like this except the person who was in group three all the remaining persons are not sitting adjacent to each other right okay so yeah first group three pearl one i think we can drop this statement right okay okay friends next point f is not emerald house and uh, she is also not participated in other sports so f uh, from this i think we have got a clue that f is not from an emerald house right okay it's just a point right f is not from an emerald house okay and uh, he is not participated okay leave that point b from a diamond house it's a direct statement b from a diamond house is neither in group four nor group one nor two only one possible right listen carefully b is from a diamond house and he is not from group four group one and group two only one group three so we already have only one place remaining here so we can directly say b should be placed here and the person b should be a diamond right okay so b3 diamond c1 pearl but we don't what about the remaining persons okay friends the last point b is sitting opposite to e so we can definitely say that this must be e 
okay and uh, only opal participated participant a is sitting between topaz participant e and sapphire participant so friends listen carefully only uh, opl participant a right so we can directly say that the person a is from opal okay and they are saying that is sitting between topaz participant e so e is a topaz participant that's also as a direct statement so this must be a topaz okay so the person a is sitting between a topaz participant and also e is sitting between the sapphire participant okay so i think only one possible friends because if i fix a here we already know that c is pearl so only one possible that this must be a and here it should be sapphire right sapphire participant i think no other way so e is topaz a sapphire f a is opal right so it's a direct statement okay friends the next point is uh, both the students of group 2 are sitting adjacent to the students of group 4 so yeah it's a uh, group two person are sitting adjacent to the group four so what are the remaining person friends one is like mm -hmm. we have placed f here and f does not like emerald right so this is not the place for emerald and also d does not like emerald i think uh, f is not emerald zircon opposite is topaz friends listen carefully zircon right hand side is topaz so we can directly say this must be zircon okay and uh, we have only two places remaining sapphire and f does not like emerald right and we can say that this must be emerald and remaining only one thing which must be uh, ruby okay ruby should be placed here what are the letters remaining uh, a b c c okay e is e f g h so friends f is not an emerald right so we can't able to place f here and also f is not c listen carefully they have already told that d is not zircon and emerald so we can't able to place d here right okay d is not possible and also d is not an emerald so d is not possible here only one possible sapphire should be d <coughs> and the f is not an emerald right so f is not an emerald okay uh, we have already placed f as g i think uh, we have G and H friends, but we don't know whether uh, G and H, G can be zircon or G can be emerald. So let me do one thing. Let me fix as G or H or otherwise G or H here. So uh, the person who is group number four can be G or H or uh, zircon or emerald. We don't, uh, they have not any direct statement there. right? So we have fixed that F ruby 3, C pearl 1, B 3 diamond, D sapphire 2. Uh, a opal one then e topaz two uh, fourth group person is emerald and the fourth group person is zircon that we confirmed it but we don't know where is the person g is sitting also we don't know where the person h is sitting right so it's an easy arrangement it's a medium level i won't say that it's completely easy and completely hard but a medium level arrangement but my advice is if you if you solve a more number of arrangement then you can uh, try this question in the exams or otherwise if you are a beginner or if you are preparing for a bank exam only for three or four months so not to touch these type of question and reasoning part only on the prelims exam you can attend this question on the main exam so in the prelims exam better leave these types of question and uh, i hope that prelims exam will consist of four arrangements or three arrangements definitely two arrangements will be easy so pick the easiest arrangement and try to solve it the question in faster so friends thank you so much so finally in this video part number three we have uh, solved three arrangement question